Hello everybody and small ones on one and welcome finally to Halo Infinite Season 2. So Season 2 has been released uh, last week so I played a uh, shit ton and yeah so I'm only going to be focus focusing on the event and not Season 2 in general but yeah so this is going to be my thoughts and opinions on um, the event called Interference, so yeah, let's get started. So, we'll start off with its um, new mode that comes with the event, which is Last Spartan Standing. So, this mode, people were suspecting this is more like a Battle Royale kind of mode, when technically it's kind of not a Battle Royale, because if you're playing Battle Royale, you obviously would know that you're going to fly, that you're going to fall from the sky, you're going to fucking, like, um be on the ground then literally just like kill everyone that only has like one life and that's it but no this mode is nothing like that at all so this is kind of, kind of reminds me of um, Breakout from Halo 5 Guardians that instead of just having like one life you basically have like five lives and you're not a team player you're more like being on your own and also reminds me of Escalation Slayer so yeah, you can level up your weapons, but it, the only difference that you can actually do is literally have an option to like either keep the weapons that you're holding, or you could just literally level up your loadout. So that's kind of interesting. So you only have like six levels to load to level up your weapons. So you go for the um, disruptor and psychic. Those will be your first two weapons that you start with, all the way up to the Battle Rifle and the Bulldog, which is going to be the um, last weapons that you're ever going to level up with. Which is kind of a bit interesting, and kind of a bit curious about that. The only thing that I probably would honestly like to see is seeing the, some of these weapons actually change. So, like, instead of just like having the Commando, which a lot of people fucking hate, because it, it, it's just so fucking goddamn awful. Instead of just having a Commando, you could just, like, have, like, a, um... The Stalker Rifle or the Shock Rifle, which would be interesting if it actually, like, has that. But yeah, so the only way to um, level, level up is by literally getting a lot of kills. So, yeah, because you can see on the bottom the screen that has, like, I'm on level, level 4 right now. The only way to level up is to just literally get kills, and yeah... You also have five lives, so if you die five lives, you have one last chance, which is going to be your sixth and final life. But if you die for the sixth time, you're basically out of the fight, and you just like either have to spectate or you can just leave the um, match in general. So I honestly, honestly recommend just staying and just watching, just observing everything. But yeah, this mode is actually kind of fun to actually play with because I'm not. That much of a free-for-all type of player. I'm more of a team-based player. But this mode, it really is interesting to actually play. The only thing that I honestly do have to complain about, about about this mode is not the mode itself. It's more like the players of how they play and how screw things over and makes it so fucking stupid and ironic. It's mainly for camping and literally getting teamed. So, those are the only two problems that I honestly did complain. Because when I played this mode for the first time, when I hopped into matchmaking, I got, literally got teamed so fucking badly. Like, from double team to, like, triple team. And it's like, oh, for God's sake, it's going to be one of those kinds of fucking problems, ain't it? And it's like, yeah. It is going to be one of those problems. So, I really hope there should be, like, an option. So, if you, like... Unless you get teamed did, you do have an option to like boot the players that are literally teaming because they are just like shouldn't be able to fucking team. Because it's just kind of fucking ridiculous that there are people out there that would just like team for no fucking reason, even though it's a free for all match and you shouldn't be allowed to work together. But yeah. Also, the cool thing is you could collect XP so you could get to the battle rifle a lot quicker. The only way to actually do that is literally have the player have like no lives remaining in order to do that. Which you can 
lose all your lives, and if you die, you basically have your AI to come out, and then it says collect XP, and then they will collect XP, which is an option you can actually have, but if you don't want to, then, then that's literally fine. Uh, the next is the um, drop pods that will actually deploy uh, out of camo and overshield, which is pretty interesting. And there will also be grenades on the ground, so from frag grenades, plasma grenades, and shot grenades. And it's, and probably the um, spike grenades as well, which is really hard to actually find because they're really actually rare. But still. What I think about this mode, I think it really is pretty good to actually enjoy, which is we've never seen this mode before in any other Halo games ever. So I enjoy it a lot, but once again, I hate when players are going to play like they're just going to double team you or triple team you, and they would just like camp throughout the entire match and refuse to fucking like move around and find other players because it is just so fucking ironic when they just do this shit but yeah next is the map itself breaker a big team battle mode that this mode comes with so this map is a 12 um player free for all mode and the map itself it really is pretty fucking decent just seeing uh, the ruins and the fucking materials of the um, humans with the fucking um, walls and you want to see fucking um, destructive buildings and shit and literally just being scrapped and melted down which is really fucking awesome so yeah this map is pretty big and there are some covers here and there but once you play this mode, it is kind of a bit difficult when you play it on this map. But once you get the lay out properly, you would easily understand that this can be actually a pretty fun map to actually play on. Especially when you play like regular big team battles, you feel like actually doing it. But yeah, it is really interesting for this map. And I really do like it a lot. Because so I think it gives, gives me some... Um, some vibes from some games, and I can't really remember what fucking game it is, but it is actually pretty fucking sick. It's actually seeing a lot of these ruins just being melted down and used by fucking banished vehicles and shit, because that's what they do in these mining facilities. But yeah, next I'm actually going to talk about the battle pass that comes with this um, event. So yeah. This battle pass, it really is ain't that um, great, <laughs> but at the same time, it is actually pretty fine to actually have these um, unique items. Because we get three items that are pretty generic and not that great, to number four all the way up to ten, it looks pretty sick. Because I'm already on number nine right now, which is I nearly fished a whole entire battle pass. So, yeah. It is pretty fucking cool to actually see some of these items, and so, and that helmet really does remind me of um, the Mark V B helmet, <laughs> kind of, because I can tell from the um, the um, bottom bit of the helmet. But yeah, so I actually um, played a few matches of these and tried to get them fucking done, and I wanted to fucking get a win, like one win. And I managed to, to get a win, and it's one of the most dumbest and funniest wins I've actually gotten. So it was my only win that I've actually got in the matchmaking, and it was so fucking funny. So I'm going to show you a little bit of clip of like how I got this ridiculous fucking stupid win, and I'll show you the, the um, other player's perspective because he thought he was being smart. He think he was going to like. <laughs> do some funny shit, but in reality he forgot that he wasn't in a good position and he got fucked. So let's take a look. Alright, so this is the one we won. Both of us got no lives left, so this was our final chance. He was up there, I engaged him, and he thought he was smart, and then he fell off, and then he died. <laughs> and I win. So yeah, this is what his perspective looked like. So obviously he was going to get the active camera that was up here, right on this drop pod. So once I engaged him, 
He thought he was going to like be safe, but no. <laughs> yep. That was um, one of the most awkward fucking wins and losses i ever done. But that was my first win, actually. <laughs> but I'm honestly guaranteed that I'm never going to win ever again, because I'm, I'm not that much of a fan of this mode. But I'm, I would be a fan of it once I keep playing it, if I feel like it. But, yeah, so... What do I think about this entire event? I say it really is pretty cool. The mode is brand new, never seen it before. It really is interesting and a lot of curiosity behind it. I do love the map that comes with it, and it's the only map that comes with it. I do like the battle pass a lot. It really wasn't that bad, but at least it's actually good to actually like get these things. So, yeah. Well, I think of all of it in general, I say I would give it a, a 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. It really wasn't that bad. But the only thing I do complain is the players, the way, the, how they play, the way they play is getting teamed and literally campers like everywhere and becomes so fucking frustrating and so annoying. But besides that, it really is a general fun event to actually get to. So, yeah. So what do you guys think about this event? Do you guys actually enjoy having this event? Or do you think it sucks? Or somewhere in between? Let me know in the comments below. Because me, I really did like it a lot. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoying Season 2. Because me, I am enjoying it a bit. And I am definitely grinding because I'm nearly halfway to the battle pass. So I'm like on fucking like 45 or something. Which is I'm super fucking close to halfway. And I'm still going to keep grinding until I literally complete the whole battle pass. So yeah. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye bye.